watching Caffeine and Pixie Dust. Have a wonderful day. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. So today we're doing a bit of a random video. As you would have seen from the thumbnail, this is my Disney mug collection video. Now let's just put this in context. It might not be the most groundbreaking thing that you see on YouTube today or on the internet, but it's something that I like. And I'm a great believer in kind of the little things in life that make you smile, that make you happier, that make you feel a little bit lighter, put a spring in your step. That's what it's all about. It could be stopping to smell the roses, or it could be coming home from a horrible grey, cold, wintry day and filling up a lovely mug full of your favourite biscuit tea or cocoa. And for me, what makes it feel a little bit more cosier and happier is to have it in my favourite Disney mug. Now, I do have a few to choose from. I didn't know quite how many I had until I brought them down. But right here, I've got a picnic hamper full to the brim with sparkly, lovely, glittery Disney mugs. And for me, each of them holds a memory. Each of them evokes a happy time, like a time in the parks or maybe to celebrate a movie coming out or something. So yeah, I thought I'd share them with you all. Now, when I can remember where I got them from or if they're sort of still current, I will of course let you know. But I think let's just get stuck in. So they're not really in any order, but one of the mugs I'm gonna show you first, I think, is my 25th Disneyland Paris anniversary mug that I picked up during the 25th anniversary here. I have shown this mug on a haul if you've seen my Disney hauls. I will, of course, pop those hauls in the show notes below so you can click on through and have a look if this is kind of your bag, having a look at Disney merch. I know it is mine, definitely. Anyway, this is my 25 Years of Stars Disneyland Paris mug. Now, I really, really love this mug. I'm gonna put it in front of me so the camera zooms in on this because I love all the outfits the character's wearing. I think it's really fantastic, the kind of steampunk. Look at Daisy, I mean the sass. It is a beautiful, beautiful mug and it really brings back memories of that 25th anniversary celebrations, Donald, all the parade, all the, oh, it was just an amazing time. It really was a special time to visit Disneyland Paris. And this mug brings it all back. It's a big mug, it's nearly as big as my head. That makes me happy because it means there's more coffee to drink. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's kind of like a 3D molded mug, if you can see there. So you've got a bit of texture to it and a bit of sparkle, which is lovely. And then inside it's just blue with Disneyland Paris. Now they have these kind of size mugs most of the time at Disneyland Paris and I think they tend to be a kind of about sort of 12.99 euros something like that um but it's a nice mug to bring home and it makes a lovely gift as well we do buy these for family and friends when we go so i shall stash these down here oh, i found an interloper hang on let me put that there um the next one i'm going to show you was from the disney store now i actually got this in the sale and i remember there were loads more in this range and i really really wanted more of them especially the rapunzel one but she sold out really quickly but this is a beautiful mug this is a lovely Cinderella mug. As you can see, it's got little sparkly diamantes on the glass slipper, and the kind of detail really evokes Cinderella's dress, and then you've got her hair there. It's really, really lovely. And then the coach on the back, and it's got these kind of printed jewels on. When I first saw them on the website, I did actually think they were like 3D, but they're just printed ones, but they're really nice. And then inside, you can see the Cinderella signature there. It's a really nice mug. It feels a little bit kind of, I don't know, it's because it's got a hollow handle, it's not quite so nice to drink out of because that's something I would say is I know a lot of Disney mug collectors keep them for display, which I think is a lovely idea because some of them are so delicate. But for me, I drink out of all of them. I use them all the time, every day, they get washed some in the dishwasher, <laughs> but only because they say dishwasher friendly. Um, but they are treated with respect, they are treated with love, but they are used because I used to kind of keep things like candles and not really use them and it just made me sad because they've been made for a reason so I do use my mugs and every time I use one it does bring back those memories as I say so I really enjoy using them. I think from memory I can't remember what the full price was but I think I paid around five pounds for this as I said I wish I got the Rapunzel one because she's my number one princess but we do love the Cinderella because anything blue is always winning in my book anyway. And then the next one is my most recent purchase you will not be shocked to find out it is a Mary Poppins mug. <laughs> this is the latest um, Disney store, Shop Disney I should say, Mary Poppins mug. It is absolutely beautiful, it's practically perfect. So there you can see we've got this lovely kind of candy stripe 
baby blue against the white and then the city of London is beautifully picked out there with all the details, St Paul's, there we go and then we have Mary Poppins and Cherry Tree Lane it's really really nice, I love the colour of it I love the detail, I think it's beautiful that you've got kind of the kite on there and everything and the birds from Feed the Birds, it's all there. Um, yeah, I love the colour, I love the fact that it's blue and white, I love the pink on it as well because I think it's gorgeous colour, it's nice and pink inside. The only thing I'd say, a little bit little, <laughs> I like bigger mugs um, but it just means I have to fill it up more often but it's a very sweet little mug. I think this one is about eight pounds 95 at the moment um but quite often you know there's offers to be had on shop disney uh, this one does say it does go in the dishwasher and the microwave i'm not putting in the microwave maybe the dishwasher but yeah it's a really cute little mug nice one for tea i think and if it's mary poppins i've got to have it it's a done deal <laughs> So this next one I'm going to show you is actually an eBay find because I was having a little scroll on eBay and I saw this and it's from way before I started visiting Disneyland Paris. Um, I'm not sure how this mug is but it's really really cute um, and I picked it up, I think it was just a couple of pounds plus postage and it was all still in the box and everything but it's really really retro. So you can see there you've got a lovely design with all the Disney balloons and the Disney castle there. And then we have all the characters. I do hope the camera's zooming in on this. I'm not like my face. And then it just says Disneyland Paris with Peter Pan. This is a lovely mug. It's a cute little size. It's kind of just right. It's a nice blue inside. And I like that feeling that it's something from Disneyland Paris history. I know that's not like hundreds of years ago, but it's before we started going. So it feels quite special to have something from a while ago. And it's kind of the evolution of Disneyland Paris mugs. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you was a gift from the lovely Amy who um, is part of the Disney Lads crew and she got me this mug, I think it was a couple of Christmases ago and it's really really lovely. It says on it, all it takes is faith, trust and pixie dust. There we go and it's a lovely white mug with this beautiful kind of script. I wish you could see it but I think it's really really reflective but trust that that's what it says and then it's got Tinkerbell below as well. The quote and it's just got stars all the way around but it's ever so nice it feels ever so elegant as well it's a lovely cup to have a cup of tea out of and then you've got a little Tinkerbell inside as well so they do mugs like this at Disneyland Paris as well I know that we bought one for a relative it's a lovely Tinkerbell one with a little crystal on and a good place to buy those is in kind of the um, shop just inside studios as you go in because they have a nice collection. But this is my lovely Pixie Dust mug and it's only fitting that it's made its appearance on the channel. And the next thing I'm going to show you, the next mug I'm going to show you was one of my first Disney mugs. This is one of the ones that started the collection slash obsession. <laughs> and this is my Moana mug. Oh my goodness, look how big this Moana mug is. It's fantastic. So I got this around the time that the Moana film came out and there was lots and lots of merch in the Disney store. And you can see it's got a really, really cool design with the wayfarers on there, crashing through the sea. And then lovely detail on the characters as well. And what I really love is this hook. I mean, how cool is this? Not only does it make it really, really nice to hold on to, but I just think it's a really nice detail as well. They've really thought this through. It's got lovely texturing where it's kind of the rope feeling at the bottom as well. And yeah, there is Mary's hook. And inside, it's just a lovely kind of ocean blue color. And it's nice and big. And you know how I feel about big mugs. So there you go. That's a nice one to fill with coffee and take back up to bed on a Saturday morning when you don't want to get up. So that is definitely one of my favourites. And the next one I'm going to show you is a mug that I bought on our recent Disney Lads holiday, which was in October. Of course there are vlogs to that, so please do go and check them out if you haven't had a look already. And I got this down in the store in Frontierland, which is one of my favourite shops because they've got so much stuff. You might have seen this on my Instagram account if you follow me. If not, here I am. So please do go and have a look at some of the pictures up there because I put all sorts of Disney stuff up there. Um, but yeah, I love this mug. It is beautiful and it is massive and it fits a lot of... Uh, this is my biscuit tea mug actually, it's what I have tea out of. Um, and it's lovely for a lazy morning. So this is of course the Ratatouille theming on here. And it says Petit de Le Petit Déjeuner on there. And I really love the kind of graphic design on this. It's almost like... Uh, sort of chalkboard with writing and illustrations on there and then you've got the 
castle and the Eiffel Tower. I got them muddled up when I did the haul. I was like, there's the castle, got it right this time. And some of the things that you might have for your petit déjeuner. And I really, really like it. It is um, really lovely to hold. It's a lovely tactile mug. And inside it's just white and says Disneyland Paris. And it's a really satisfying mug to hold, especially on kind of a bit of a cosy morning. So yeah, it's lovely. I think again, this one was about 12 euros, I think. Please don't quote me. It will be in the haul video. So if you go back and have a look at that one, if you want to know exactly the price. And I think it is still on sale and I love it. I'm really glad I got it. Again, size of head to mug ratio, very good. I've got like a massive stash of mugs here now. My goodness, my husband's gonna see them all. So we had this thing, when we kind of started buying all of our grown-up stuff, we decided to get matching mugs because over the years we had collected loads and loads of different mugs from like Easter eggs, you know, you used to get mugs with an Easter egg in and birthdays and all sorts. And we thought, let's just clear the decks and get matching mugs and look all grown up and everything. And then I started collecting Disney mugs and they started creeping into the house and now they have their own cupboard. But they make me happy. <laughs> so the next one I'm going to show you is a Disneyland Paris mug, surprise surprise. This is again a 25th anniversary mug. I got this I think on our first Disney Lads trip and I was really pleased to get it because it's kind of like this varsity design that they did and yeah I just think it's really crisp, it's really unusual. Of course you've got 25 years Disneyland Paris there and I think the blue is a really beautiful blue. It's kind of like cornflower Donald Duck type blue. Um, it's a really big mug. <laughs> it's a big mug. It's got the same design on both sides and on the bottom it just says Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary. There you go. And I believe this was in the sale. I think it was about seven or eight euros because I remember seeing it with Rhea and being like that's the mug that's coming home because it was 40% off at the time. So yeah, I think it was about seven euros. So really, really nice. <laughs> Sorry about that face, that's a bit random. I thought I was gonna knock them off. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you <sighs> features my main man. It's got Donald Duck on it. This one was a recent purchase from Shop Disney. He was in the sale, he was reduced to five pounds. So I had to get him. He's again a really, really good size. So on there you've got Donald Duck looking a little bit perturbed, a little bit unimpressed. Maybe that's kind of his Monday face. And then on the other side, it's just got his name with some kind of nautical paraphernalia. It's an anchor and all sorts there. And inside, I think it's just a darker blue. There we go. Again, it's a really satisfying mug. I love this sort of handle here because you can really fit your fingers in there and just hold on to your cup of tea. So that's a lovely one. Um, and again, it goes through the dishwasher, it goes through the microwave. I haven't microwaved it, I haven't, but I have um, put it through the dishwasher because I'm a bit lazy. There we go. I am always really careful though. I'm like, is it going in? I'm not sure. But yeah, that one's okay. And then this one, we have a Primark mug. This um, I bought, I think it was last year, and it's quite niche, isn't it? <laughs> it's my Buzz Lightyear mug. You know, does not every household have one of these? So this is my lovely Buzz Lightyear Primark mug. It's very big, um, it fits a lot of tea in it. You have to be committed to your cup of tea when you're gonna sit down and drink from this. Um, but it's really good fun. And it was about six pounds at the time. They've really upped their kind of mug and merch game, their home style stuff recently. And I think at the moment, they've got a Donald Duck mug and a Daisy mug, so I do need those, but I'm trying to be restrained, but I'm gonna have to get them. Um, but yeah, this is a really lovely fun mug. It's quite sturdy, it's quite tough. I wouldn't put it through the microwave or anything like that, but it has been through the dishwasher, and yes, six pounds, and nearly the same size as my head. So that's all good. We're getting through the mugs. We're getting through them. We have a few more to go through. I told you I've got a few, but we're getting through them. Um, so this one is, again, a Shop Disney mug. It's just because they have such good mugs on there, and quite often they do have offers on. It's worth double checking to see if they've got any special offers. And also, if you're ordering something else, you know, to just quickly pop a mug in there is always nice because then you can kind of justify the postage. Anyway, this mug I actually bought in store um, at the Bond Street Shop Disney store. And this was kind of to celebrate because I went to my first kind of Disney meetup last August, I think it was. And we met up in Hyde Park and then I saw this in the shop, in Shop Disney, and just thought it was really cute because it's like my heart belongs to London and it's got all these kind of London icons there 
with little hidden Mickeys. You might have like Mickey Mouse in a phone box, Mickey Mouse on a bus, that type of thing. And I just thought it was really, really sweet. And I kind of wanted something little to mark the occasion because it felt very special to be going to my first Disney meetup. And yes, I brought this home and it's again, a really good size for a quick cuppa in the morning. And I think it was reduced to about four pounds or something. So there you go, you can pick up some bargains. We're going to the second shelf. It's happening, let's just embrace that, there's quite a lot. Um, now, the next one I'm gonna show you is a Christmas mug. I've no shame, I use this mug all year because it's so pretty, I don't want to squirrel it away for just once a year. So I kind of made my peace with the fact that I was still keeping something Christmassy out. But I got this in the lead up to this Christmas, this is my Stitch mug. Um, I believe I did this, included this in my December haul, I believe, um, and at the time it was on offer as well. And they did another one with Mickey and Minnie which was red, but I just love the design of Stitch there, I love the colour that kind of soft teal, just wait for the camera to zoom in, that kind of soft teal colour is really lovely and it's kind of got like almost a 1950s vibe to it hasn't it I always think, with these kind of graphic shaped Christmas trees and candy canes and things. And it says, fa la 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 la, joy! And who doesn't need that kind of mug in the lead up to Christmas or all year? And inside it's lovely and red. And uh, again, this is my gingerbread coffee mug. That's what goes in there because it's massive. <laughs> so more big mugs please Disney. Keep coming with the big, big Disney mugs because we love them. Uh, I think it's time for another Disneyland Paris mug. So this one is again from our recent Halloween-y trip which you might have seen in one of the, uh, in the haul video I did. Um, I saw this mug, I think it was on in Flora's at the top of Main Street, and I just love the design. And I believe it sold out quite quickly as well, so I was really glad to have got, got one. So you've got all the Disney crew, I mean, in kind of Halloween-y get-up. And yeah, it's just really, really funky. Oh my goodness, look at him, so cute. And there we go on there you've got sort of pumpkins and mickey mouse heads and all sorts and it just says halloween at disneyland paris and inside it's the most beautiful grape purple color we like that and as i mentioned in the other video i believe i do like this i love it when you get can you see there kind of like matte and gloss so you get like a texture to the mug I like that. So yes, it's got some nice kind of relief on there where some of it's shiny and some of it's matte. I think this was, if not like 9.95, it might even have been 12.95 euros. But I'm really glad I got it because I love a bit of Halloween and I love a bit of Disney. Now what next, what next? We've only got five more, five more mugs. There we go. Um, right, next one is again a Disneyland Paris one. I think this was from our trip last spring and they just brought out this new range which was kind of Paris. Paris range and it was to take over from the 25th stuff and here it is. So on this one again it's got a kind of moulded texture to it slightly, you've got Mickey and Minnie in Paris there, it's all lovely red, white and blue and then oh, you have got these guys looking very cool and very fresh on the other side and I just think it's a really joyful mug, it's got balloons floating, it's got the castle, it's got the Eiffel Tower and it's just a really kind of bright fresh mug and inside you've got all these kind of icons in there as well like Minnie's bow and the Disney D in the castle and all sorts. Um, we also got I think like placemats in this design um, but I really really like this mug and this one as you can see, oh nearly dropped it, is buddies with this fella so they are about the same size and I think they were about the same price about that kind of 12 95 but really really nice glad I got them both. Just slide them on there. So, what have we got next? Oh, which one should I finish with? I wonder which one. Right, this one is another Mary Poppins one. Da -da -da. There is still another Mary Poppins mug I don't actually have, by the way, so I haven't got them all yet. But this was the one that I got as soon as it hit Shop Disney to celebrate the new movie. Um, and it's really, really lovely. It really goes in with the styling. There we go, so it just says practically perfect in every way. And then you've got Mary Poppins there, kind of in the style of the show. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but if you've seen the film, you know what I mean. And then there she is, with a kite, and magic fills the air. And again, it's really different from any of the other kind of Mary Poppins designs historically. 
So I really like that. I love the kind of graphic style of the bag and her hat and everything. It's a beautiful teal colour um, inside as well. And this handle is very satisfying to hold. It's really, really nice. And it's a pretty good size as well. So this one I believe is still on the website, but if not, the other one it definitely is. The one I'm after now <laughs> is like an ivory colour and it's kind of got little feet on it. And then it's got kind of... Um, pale pink inside and like a relief um, of, I think it's Mary Poppins holding onto the umbrella and penguins and all sorts. Anyway, it's really, really nice, but I'm not gonna treat myself just yet because I've got quite a few mugs as it is. But I think that is one I will keep on my wish list for birthdays and Mother's Day and all that kind of stuff, because you, you know, gotta have a list. Um, the next one I'm gonna show you is a little dinky Mickey Mouse mug. This is a Disneyland Paris mug. There we go. This one is still in the shops. Um, I've seen pictures on Instagram. They have a whole range of like cookie jars and all sorts of things with this range, which are really, really cute. But this mug is the perfect size for a little hot chocolate when you come in. And it's really, really nice. And I love that it's this kind of Mickey Mouse red inside as well. And on the bottom, it just says product exclusive for Disneyland Paris. So yeah, nice little mug. Again, this one goes through the dishwasher quite happily with no complaints. So the next one I'm going to show you is this one, oh, I love this one, <laughs> this is my White Rabbit Alice in Wonderland mug. Again this was a sale bargain, I think it was £5 and I love it, I'd seen these kind of style mugs on Shop Disney for quite a long time and you could never really see the size in the picture and I wasn't quite sure. Now I have this one, I wish I bought more because I absolutely love it. Um, so there you go, you've got all these kind of sketches of White Rabbit rushing around the outside of your mug and then the coloured in version on this side and it's really lovely down here it just says Disney classic in relief you might be able to see kind of molded on and the stripes around the bottom can we just talk about the blue this is my favourite colour blue it's gorgeous it's like a cross between a baby blue and a kind of cornflower blue but a bit grey I don't know it's absolutely lovely and I love that it's kind of almost stoneware on there as well. I love this mug. So yes, please bring these back because I will buy more because look at the size of it as well. That's a really, really good one. And the last mug I'm going to show you is one that I wanted for such a long time because it came out and it was just so, so beautiful and I didn't get it at the time and then it went. It sold out and it just vanished and it didn't come back for ages and ages. Um, but just before Christmas it came back and I dropped some really subtle hints, you can imagine how subtle they were, about how much I wanted it. And I got it for Christmas as if by magic because it's my lovely Peter Pan mug. Oh my goodness. So this mug is just amazing. This is from, I think I mentioned Shop Disney, and here you've got like Big Ben as the handle, and then it's connected with these kind of clouds to the mug, and then this illustration is just dreamy. I just love it. It's really, really nice. It reminds me, because I've got um, the Cat Kids and Peter Pan collection big bag as well, and I mean, maybe one day I'll just stand there with my bag holding the mug and just live my actual dream having it all at the same time but I just really really love this mug it's a very tall mug but it's actually very narrow again I have used it I've drunk out of it a good few times not been through the dishwasher it says it can but I'm not going to do that not to this one um, because it's just so beautiful I think it would be really nice like on the dressing table with like makeup brushes and things actually or paint brushes or pencils maybe if you've got kind of a little stationary area in the kitchen that would be really really nice but yeah I just think the design of this is absolutely beautiful and I think it was quite a pricey one from memory I'm not sure if it's still on the website but it's worth having a look so not cheap but a definite thing that will be treasured and I really really love so there you go, that is my Disney mug collection. The basket is empty, that's all I have for now. It's ridiculous, isn't it? I have to stop, I just love them. I really love them, I love coffee. I love Disney, I love Disney mugs full of coffee. That's my thing, it just makes me happy. And you know, you have gotta do things that make you happy. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my funny little random collection video. If I had to pick a favorite, for actually like drinking out of all the time, I think I'd go with this one. I just love the size of it, I love the feel of it, it's lovely and heavy. I identify with the white rabbit, I tend to 
cut it fine when it comes to timings so this only seems fitting because I'm always trying to get that last bit of tea or coffee before I dash out the door so yeah I think this is my favorite what I would love to know in the comments below please is sort of have you got a favorite Disney mug what sort of mug is it is it a nice little cozy one is it a great big one and what character or scene has it got on it does it bring back a certain memory or is it to kind of make you think of your favorite disney film from when you were little or something please do let me know in the comments below because i'd love to know um but until next time i hope you've enjoyed this cheeky little video if so please do leave me a mermaidy unicorny rose gold sparkly thumbs up share comment subscribe all those wonderful things and i'll see you real soon take care